for a long time, um, the general public did not know that I was female, and uh, they get shocked, they get surprised, but uh, in all the reception has been wonderful, they've accepted me, and I, I take that opportunity and that uh, responsibility very seriously, and to represent other women and make them proud and show everyone that uh, what a man can draw, a woman can draw better. I've come to realize I always have been political. I just never had an opportunity or an avenue to let that out. My editors are very supportive. They encourage me and sometimes even help me to push the envelope. That cartoon uh, basically explains that as much as we've had a long-standing relationship with, with America, with the USA, that uh, China is coming in as a new partner in what an African would call a polygamous <laughs> kind of arrangement. <laughs> yes. But when there's a burning issue which I feel that I need to comment on, then I'm, ab I'm still able to draw that cartoon and you know share, share it online on social media. I believe as cartoonists, I think the nature of our work sort of give, gives us the license to offend. <laughs> the new media, the internet has really opened the way because I'm able to work with clients from all over the world just seated comfortably in my studio and uh, we encourage you know uh, people to outsource their illustration needs their artwork needs to Kenya because we have some of the best illustrators I'm making a caricature of Obama um, and uh, you know a caricature is all about exaggerating physical features so first of all you just quickly you know do a rough sketch about what you want the image to look like. The traditional met methods which we used a few years ago was sketch on pencil and pa uh, on paper with pencil, but now with digital tools, you're able to get better results faster. I depicted Obama in my cartoons as a, a Kenyan son coming back home and someone who people were really waiting eagerly to, to meet. 